When you experience something new and you find something that you love, you find your passion. And when you find your passion, it ignites you as a person. You just feel awesome. All right, so I'm here with Rob. Uh, so uh, we're gonna do a little interview. We're, we are at um, a competition right now, the ICON competition. This is my first time competing. Sweet, this is a good competition to be your first one. Yeah, why is that? Um, there's a lot, like, I don't really do a whole lot of sport jiu-jitsu. Most guys in our gym don't really get into it, a few guys do. Um, but there's a ton of rules. It's single elimination. People get, like, really intense. Mm -hmm. um, this tournament has a much cooler rule set. It's much more open. Um, it's a round robin format, so you're gonna get a bunch of matches. Basically, you're in your division and you roll with everybody there. Zero points if you lose, one point if you tie, two points if you win. Whoever gets the highest number of points wins. If there's multiple divisions in whatever your category is, then you go off from there. That's nice. Like I like the submission only format. Yes, I find it like exactly. it's more in line with self defense, yes. where they're like. It's way more in line with self-defense, and the rules for the non-submission only gets irritating because then it's points, and it's yeah. like, was this an advantage, and this, a blah, 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 and, and they're there's, stalling, there's and there's way too much judging. Yeah. There's just way too, too much judging. bullshit. Too yeah, judging. way too. So, judging. what was your first? Um, wh how long before you competed? Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure that I remember my was it like a year, very years? first. The first competition that I remember, I was a blue belt, so that would have been a couple of years anyway. But I think I did it before that. And like, take us to the day. Like, what? How, were you super nervous? The, or the, like... the, the first one I remember was really funny because Jay was like, "How much do you weigh?" And I was like, well, "Whatever I weighed at the time." And he's like, "Oh, cool. We need a guy for because there was a team. There was a team. There was a team division. That's what did mm -hmm. it. Because usually I didn't compete a whole lot. And I was like, he's like, "You want to compete?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure. Whatever. Uh, never done it." Other than I probably did some tiny little thing or whatever. Um, I don't care. Like, I never got nervous. I don't. I was just like, oh, this is like rolling. Yeah. But for me, it was because it was a team thing. So it was like, I'm a spot on a team. I just got to go out and do the best I can and not worry about it. And it was super fun. So, yeah, today's my first time. Yes. Um, I've been training for like a month and three weeks now. Which is a very short period of time yeah, for a lot of I have people to do one their stripe. first competition. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like going Crystal. into it with a mind frame of Crystal's doing the badass thing. <laughs> whatever like, happens, like if oh, I yeah, for sure, for if sure. I lose, then it's a learning experience. If I win, then yep. like that's cool. The hardest thing I think for people first starting is just listen to whoever's coaching you. Use it as a sweet nugget if you can't get it. Because like your your brain's engaged in doing, so it's not engaged in planning. And if you can have somebody that's like like when I when Jay's guys coaching, like I remember one term he's like grab your, like, take your left hand to do this. And I'm like, that sounds like a really bad idea, but you just, just do <laughs> just it. And do you're it. like, oh, that's why I did that. And then everything goes better. Like executive functioning goes down. Yeah. So just let your coach. Primal instincts. Yeah, yeah. And it's a good skill, like the skill of being able to divide your attention between I'm handling this person, but yeah, I'm aware so of what my surroundings and this person over here who I trust is telling me to do this. So, so maybe I should do that. Yeah. Even though you're like, you just want to hold on and be like, no drama, I'm winning, I just yeah. want to stay here, right? Yeah. You gotta be like, nope, stay aggressive, do your thing. Sweet. So yeah, definitely go to realizelifewebsite.com, get your um, get your Realize Life membership pass, you can get 50% off your first month, 25% off your second month of training, so then you can come, you know, hang out with us. You yeah, should dude. see how big of a group Come out, oh yeah, you should do like, a, you should do like an academy, yeah. like panorama. We have like a sign with a corner, and we're not, it's we're not, so cool. We're not screwing around. It's like local, so you have a bunch of like people there, so you could just chill and hang out and... Yep. Sweet. Cool, right. cheers. Good luck. <laughs> All right, so Crystal is just showing me her game plan for her first for her right. first match. So this we got someone to, to do it. So all right, go for so it. This is the game plan. All right, so go like here, and then I'm gonna go <laughs> like that. Yep. Bring her over. Big judo takedown. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in side control number one, like this. Yep. And then after that, oh, ear, the side. And then what, what's the key point about your, your first side control? The key point is to keep my shoulder next to the hip. Oh, five seconds, yeah. I want to stay here for five seconds because, yeah, I want to, like, make sure it's stable. So I'm waiting five seconds, then I'm going to sneakily reach up inside the collar. You're going, you're going for the kung fu choke? Yeah. Sweet. So this would be a technique that's going to require the pajamas, but she's going to grab her hand right yeah. there. And then after that, slide my hand over here and bring it down. Boom. Just like that. Strangle the shit out of her. Yeah. And then if she does something funky with the arm, 
We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so have you ever seen those posters of like what your mom thinks you do versus what your friends think you do versus what you actually do? Well, <laughs> this is a perfect example of what I thought I was going to do versus what actually happened. Uh, so to my defense, you know, she was a blue belt. She was obviously more experienced than I was. So here I am trying to do the shitty judo throw that you know, and it is obviously not effective. I end up putting myself, getting myself mounted. Um, right here, what I should have done is I, I should have wiggled my way because she has a really high mount. Um, so I, I definitely should have tried to, you know, get her mount further, closer to my hips. And this is where she great find, like she has a great fine hold on me. So she has her legs hooked. So I'm trying to get my legs out. At the same time, she is applying so much pressure that I cannot breathe. I've never experienced that much pressure in my life. It was a struggle just to get air. And I had no clue how to get out of this. And then she collar chokes me and I'm trying not to cry at this point and then forget to even shake her hand. <laughs> So that was my first match. <laughs> All right, post-show thoughts. It is like 7 p.m. Um, just got back from the tournament, and here are some of my thoughts. Heart to heart, just heart to heart. <laughs> so what did I think of it? Holy cow, like the first match was with a blue belt, I think she had two stripes, and when she got me in the mount, like I was in her mount, she mounted me, and she put in her hook, she great find me, and she put pressure like on my belly, I could not breathe, and then she continued to choke me out. <laughs> it's like, when you put yourself in a situation like that, it makes everything else in life seem so much easier. All of a sudden when you go to the store and you're like looking for a beer, like your beer selection choice just seems easier. Like I just got choked the fuck out. <laughs> Whether I want like a, you know, a lager or a Hefeweizen, it really isn't that big of a deal. Um, but as soon as that happened, that was my first ever match. So imagine like going in thinking I have a pretty good idea of what it feels like to roll, but then having that amped up by like 25%, and then getting completely owned. Like when, honestly, when I like came off the mat, I like wanted to cry because I thought that I would be better at it. Like I was like, oh my God, like I just got so owned. And it's, it was like, it's like you are completely helpless. And then after that, like, it was good because for my mentality, I didn't dwell on it. Like, okay, like that happened. We're gonna get, you know, we're gonna see what happens in, in the next with the next person. Um, so I think it's the when that happened to me though. I was like, why the hell has nobody mounted me like that before? Like while we were rolling, I was like thinking, dudes, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> why haven't you been that aggressive? <laughs> so I think from the competition, what I want to do is I want to go back. And when I'm training, the next time I'm rolling, I want to pick either like the heaviest dude or the dude with like the best technique for pressure and see if I can get out of it. Um, so it's like, it's like a, I think a tournament is a good litmus test to your true perfor performance because people are fighting on a higher level than when you're rolling with them. I mean, they're like, it's higher energy, it's more intense, um, and it's, I think the intensity is probably most realistic to a street fight. Um, so it's good, like Jay was saying, um, like imagine if you would have never trained before and somebody would have done that to you on a street fight, how would you have felt? And I'm, I felt pressure before from rolling, but not to that degree. So it was definitely, if I had never trained and if I were to feel that pressure alone, without any type, I would just, it would have been <laughs> really bad. Um, so yeah, I think 
it's a good experience because now I know I can I have like a list of things that I want to I want to work on now like I definitely want to see if I can roll like do a hip and like bridge and roll out of a, like how do I get out of a great fine with a lot of pressure being applied and then my shitty judo throws were fucking completely shitty because they did not work at all <laughs> so I definitely need to work on that like the takedown because you start from a standing position um, so yeah it's like you go there you you find out what you need to work on and then you just take it back to the mats and see you know what you can improve upon and then test it out again and I definitely learned about myself like um, there was a couple times when I, I was in like a pretty tight situation and I just breathed and I was like calm and um, I'm definitely a thinker like one of the girls she I tapped out and she got a good grab on my collar like this and I knew I'm like man if we go to the ground she's gonna set herself up for a choke like I, I called it I like I knew it was going to happen and it happened and I was like shit <laughs> like I could have prevented that um, and then also when you're mounted and you get that type of pressure the only thing that they can do is a collar choke so I know that now so it's like okay all I needed to do was was breathe and try to block the choke, but when you're in that position, if you never felt that before, it's really hard to do that. Um, so now I know. What else did I learn? Yeah, definitely get better at the hip and roll with like a lot of pressure being applied, work on my shitty judo throws. <laughs> um, and yeah, like I definitely would compete again. I definitely, I don't want to do it too soon because I want to be able to improve on my game like I just don't want to go out there and, and just do it again like I, I feel um, happy I also feel like the the camaraderie is really good like the girls I mean they are fucking fierce but afterwards they'll like you know we'll, we'll hug each other and smile and talk and like hey are you doing any other competitions like yeah let's you know I hope you do because I'd love to hang out with you again and you know they're really it's really nice it's such a dichotomy it's like you're killing each other but yet <laughs> you're like girl I love you <laughs> but yeah I think um, one of the things that also meant the most to me is afterwards Jay was like good job and that meant so much to me because like it's not like I submitted you know people I got submitted twice and I think it was like three times where it was like a draw like it was a tie because nobody could submit the other person um, so to me that's like I had it in my mind that I was going to do a shitty judo throw and then uh, and then do the kung fu choke and you know everything it was going to be I was going to do that to everybody and win like that was my game plan but like that shit did not work <laughs> um, so it was it meant so much to me to, to hear that knowing that like I could have done better like you know what I mean but it's a starting point like you you can't get better if you don't ever draw your first line in the sand um, and if anything it's it's better to do really shitty at your first tournament that way you have plenty <laughs> room to improve upon it's like oh <laughs> look at all this opportunity for improvement um, but yeah it was really good uh, I think also I mean we started the day at 8 a.m. and I didn't get on the mat until about 3 30 p.m. So it's definitely good not to complete, because you get adrenaline. I mean, even in the room with all these people, like I, I'm ready to go, like I just want to go, but you need to harness your energy and hold on to that because if you're going from like eight to 2 p.m. and you're like friggin' balls to the wall, like, ah, let's get out there. By the time you're on the mat, you are gonna be, you've tired yourself out. Uh, so definitely it was a good, um, I think I did a good job of controlling my adrenaline um, and thinking um, and bringing enough like food and water and keeping hydrated um, and yeah and, and not crying <laughs> that would have been so funny <laughs> hey you know <laughs> people cry in jujitsu um, but yeah it was definitely very humbling a very humbling experience and it was it was it was a good experience, it was a learning experience, and now I have things to go back to the mat and, and work on. So definitely, um, if you try it out, I mean, when you put yourself in situations where 
you're testing your limits and, and you're putting yourself in a situation that you've never been in it before and you're forcing yourself to think under pressure, the bitch on top of you choking you out. <laughs> like if you can think under that type of pressure, then somebody applying pressure in real life just by a statement is not going to affect you. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was informative. I hope this inspires you to try jujitsu or maybe try your first tournament or just up your game or believe that, you know, things are possible and you can definitely get out there and you can improve and you can do better and, and think about how good you are compared to the entire population. Like if you can survive on the mat during a tournament, like your probability of survival if something were to ever happen to you is way higher than if you never would have even tried at all. Uh, so definitely check out realizelifeupside.com, get your membership card, and, and get out there and, and do something. All right, see ya.